Greetings, friends around the world. You're listening to the Bible News Prophecy Program. My name is Alexander Sashevedis. I'm your host, and welcome. Well, as you're well aware, there has been World Economic Forum going on, and what we can gather from all the so far is that the World Economic Forum speakers want more censorship, while Elon Musk tweeted that World Economic Forum is increasingly becoming an unelected world government that the people never ask for and don't want. Well, very interesting, isn't it? Now, if you can notice a report to a USA senator who went to the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, this was from January 19, 2023. West uh, Virginia Democrat Senator John Manchin argues against First Amendment in Davos. The problem we have is the open press system and basically all the platforms. Uh, he is quote is as saying, now notice a report related to a European Union leader and a USA Congresswoman. European Commission VP Vera Yaurova claimed that America will soon pass laws criminalizing so-called hate speech in spite of the First Amendment. Yaurova made the remarks at the Davis Summit on Tuesday during a session hosted by CNN's Brian Stelter discussing the clear and present danger of disinformation. For hate speech... We need the people who understand the language and the case law in the country, because what qualifies as case be a speech, illegal hate speech, which you will have, have soon also in the U.S., we have a strong reason why we have this in the criminal law, Europa said. Now, this comes as Representative Sheila Jackson Lee, uh, the Democrat from Texas, introduced a bill in the House that would broadly criminalize some forms of hate speech, including perpetuating facts about replacement theory. Now, of course, that bill, as far as I was informed, would be targeting only whites. According to the bill, a person engages in a white supremacy-inspired hate crime when white supremacy, the ideology, has motivated the planning, development, preparation, or perpetration of actions that constituted a crime or were undertaken in furtherance of activity that, if effectuated, would have constituted a crime. Globalists and foreign interests aren't going to let a pesky thing like the U.S. Constitution stop them from trying to criminalize speech, since their power depends on the control of information. Friends, related to the World Economic Forum, Elon Musk added a tweet. That tweet was on January 17th, as far as I can see, 2023, and it says, World Economic Forum is, sorry, it's January 18th, 2023, and Elon Musk says World Economic Forum is increasingly becoming an unelected world government that the people never ask for and don't want. While Elon Musk has significant ability to affect Twitter on the internet, last summer the World Economic Forum revealed a plan to remove materials off the internet that it does not care for. And this is from August 15, 2022. World Economic Forum's Global Intelligence Collecting, i.e., uh, artificial intelligence to erase ideas from the internet. <coughs> so listen to this one, friends. The World Economic Forum is becoming a little concerned. Unapproved opinions are becoming more popular and online censors cannot keep up with millions of people becoming more aware and more vocal. World Economic Forum in Bal Goldberger came up with a solution as she proposes to collect off-platform intelligence from millions of sources to spy on people and new ideas and then merge this information together for content removal decisions sent down to internet platforms. To overcome the barriers of traditional detection methodologies, we propose a new framework. Rather than relying on artificial intelligence to detect at scale and humans to review edge cases, an intelligence-based approach is crucial. By bringing human curated multi language off platform intelligence into learning sets, artificial intelligence will then be able to detect nuanced novel abuses at scale before they reach mainstream platforms. Supplementing this smarter automatic detection with human ex expertise to review edge cases and identify false positives and negatives, and then feeding those finding, findings back into training sets will allow us to create. Artificial information, artificial intelligence that is with human intelligence back baked in. This more intelligent artificial intelligence gets more sophisticated with each moderation decision, eventually allowing near perfect detection at scale. Now, what is this all about, dear friends? What, what, what is new? Well, the way censorship is done these days is that each internet platform, such as Twitter, 
has its own moderation team and a decision-making engine. Twitter would only look at tweets by any specific Twitter user when deciding on whether to delete any tweets or suspend their authors. Twitter moderators do not look at Getter or other external websites. So, for example, user John Smith may have a Twitter account and narrowly abide by Twitter rules, but at the same time have a Getter GETTR account where he would publish anti-vaccine message. Twitter would not be able to suspend John Smith's account. That is no longer acceptable to the World Economic Forum because they want to silence people and ideas, not individual messages or accounts. This explains why the World Economic Forum needs to move beyond the major internet platforms in order to collect intelligence about people and ideas everywhere else. Such an approach would allow them to know better what person or idea to censor on all major platforms at once. Isn't that amazing, dear friends? Isn't that amazing? Well, well, listen to a bit more. They want to collect intelligence from millions of sources and train their artificial intelligence systems to detect thoughts that they do not like to make content removal decisions handed down to the likes of Twitter, Facebook, and so on. This is a major change from the status quo of each platform deciding what to do based on messages posted to that specific platform only. If someone ever said that it would be contemplated, I would probably think that this person is insane. It sounds like a sick technological fantasy. Unfortunately, this crazy stuff is real, and it is in the World Economic Forum agenda proposal that is officially posted on their websites, we, uh, WEF agenda section. And WEF, World Economic Forum, is not messing around. So, dear friends, this seems ominous and totalitarian. Yet, you might think that this will not impact you, but do not be so sure. Yeah. A few years back, we were tipped off to the fact that Facebook categorizes its users under various political categories. Not only does it look at what you post on Facebook, it also looks at the views of your Facebook friends. Friends are the quotation mark, of course. So even if you post nothing political, it still categorizes you. Now consider what a system that crosses platforms as opposed to only looking at one piece will do. Consider that Google reads all your emails. Consider that a system that crosses platforms would possibly be able to read all your emails, tweets, posts, and text messages, plus sees which websites you visit, as well as those who send you emails or have any type of electronic connection to you. Yeah, yeah, if you get the idea, friends. That's where it looks that this may be going, so it is more than just censoring some content. Plus, by wanting to criminalize various matters, it looks like the objective is to imprison people who express ideas that the globalists do not want them to have or share. Consider further that what the World Economic Forum and Big Tech to consider to be hate speech includes agreeing with various statements in the Bible. Notice the following warning from the Bible. Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. He causes all both small and great, great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. This is from Revelation 13, section uh, from verse 15 through 18. Yes, indeed. Very well known section to many of you, friends. The system above would seem to include monitoring of electronic communications to be sure that all will agree with and worship the beast. Plus, there has to be something consistent with electronic monitoring to control all buying and selling. The technology to do so now exists, dear friends. The will to do so by many governments, companies and other organizations like the World Economic Forum is becoming more and more apparent. As we have been warning you for years, electronic monitoring, including artificial intelligence, will be used for things like internet censorship, which is already happening. Elon Musk also raised concerns back in 2018 about where the use of artificial intelligence could be heading. So, well... On our Bible news prophecy uh, related to that, you can find artificial intelligence and prophecy. That's the title of our that's the title of, of, of our teaching. 
And that said, prophetically, we knew and we know that more censorship is coming. Because it's prophesied in Amos chapter 8, verse 11, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord God, that I will send a famine of the land, not famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. They shall wander from sea to sea, and from north to east, and shall run to and fro, seeking the word of the Lord, but shall not find it. Amos chapter 8, verse 11 and 12. So groups such as World Economic Forum, Big Technology, uh, and group various group, various European leaders that we basically read in Revelation 17, verse 12 and 13, will be involved in at least helping set the stage for that type of censorship. Now, uh, on our Bible News Prophecy YouTube channel, there is, a, there is a, a message related to the Klaus Schwab at the World Economic Forum's Great Reset. Will There Be a Great Reset is the title of it, so please go in and, and find it. And you can find some other more in-depth analysis on www.babylonsprophecy.net. Uh, keep in mind, friends, that the United Nations World Economic Forum and other globalists are working toward the world warned against in your Bible, related to a World Economic Forum conference as well as uh, one for the Bilderberg Group. We put together a video on our Bible News Prophecy YouTube channel, and the video is entitled Globalism, Conspiracy or Convergence, because in May of 2022, the World Economic Forum held a conference where thousands of the world's elites attended, essentially in support of a great reset to change society. In June 2022, the Bilderberg Group met, essentially, to do the same thing. In June of the same year, 2022, Pope Francis told the group invited by Cardinal Kurt Koch, unity does not come about by standing still, end of the quote. Whereas the Roman Catholic group, whose co-president is Mark Stengel, called for more cooperation with the United Nations and apparently supporters of Gandhi, the World Council of Churches also supports the globalist agenda, as do the Freemasons and others. Could Satan be the real conspirator behind this? Will humanity be able to bring about utopia? Or can true Christian unity and utopia only come about with the return of Jesus and the kingdom of God? Will the globalist agenda succeed for a time? Yes, you have it all addressed in this video on our YouTube, uh, YouTube Bible Prophecy News channel, Globalism, Conspiracy or Convergence. So please, if you're interested, please refer to that video and see. We're getting closer to Aurelian 666 controls, friends. And do not think that free speech is going to continue as many elected political leaders, as well as unelected ones, such as in the World Economic Forum and Bilderberg Group, are actively and openly calling for criminalizing, telling ideas that they do not want considered. And it will get murderously worse. Have no doubts about its scripture. It's clear that murderous persecution is coming. It's prophesied in Daniel 7.25, Daniel 11.30, verse 33-35, Revelation 13, verse 15. And uh, we have a video related to that called Christian Persecution from the Beast. So it is coming, be prepared, and until next time, goodbye friends.